Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQDefy tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to insert a combo box in a table widget. So here's the, the demo. So here I have a row record. And in column uh, A, B, C, D, those are just regular cells. In column E, I have a, a combo box, which allows me to select different items. In this case, I have four companies, Microsoft, Facebook, Google, and Apple. And I'm going to show you how to insert the combo box to the uh, to the table widget. And it's pretty easy actually. So first, let's import the libraries from the Qt widgets module. I'll import Q application, Q widgets, Q table widgets, and the combo box, and the B box layout. So here I'm going to create my combo box template and I'll name this template combo companies. And we need my initialize method. We need to have a parent parameter. Uh, later on we're going to link th uh, this combo box to our uh, to our table widget. So here I'm going to uh, set my default settings. Uh, such as font size, it should just font size. So I'll use the set style sheets method. I'll provide a CSS style. I'll set the font size to 25 pixel. And next, I want my combo box to have some default uh, items. I'm going to insert Microsoft, Facebook, Apple, and, and Google as my available combo box values. I also want to retrieve the combo box value. So here I'll create a method and I'll name this method get combo value. I'm going to print the combo box value, the selection value actually, use, uh, by referencing the current text method. In case if you need to pass uh, the combo box value, you can use the return statement and here you can return the uh, selection value. But for this exercise, I'm just going to print the, uh, the selection value. Next, I'm going to reference the current index change event dot connect, and I'll pass the get combo get combo value method. Now that's our combo box template. Next, I want to create my table widget template. So I want to have a one row and five columns by default. I also want to create my columns. So set horizontal header labels. And I'm going to have uh, five columns, A, B, C, D, E. And I'll set column E's uh, column width to, let's see. So it's going to be the, uh, the fifth column. And I'm going to set the column width to 200. And for the vertical headers uh, size, I'm going to reference the set default session size. I'll set the size value to 50. And for the horizontal header, I'll set the default session size to 250. And to insert the combo box to our table widget, so here we need to create a combo object. I'm going to pass the table widget as the parent's object. Now we can use the set cell widget method to insert the widget that we want to insert. So in, in this case will be the combo box. And that's it. Now I'm going to create my app demo class, which is going to be my application template. I'll pass the key widget class as the parent class. I'm going to resize the window to 1600 by 600. Here I'll create my main layout object. And it's going to be a vertical box layout. 
Next, I want to create my table widget object. Then I want to add the table widget object to my main layout object. And then make extra rooms. And lastly, I need to set the layout with the main layout object. And that's everything for app demo class. Now we just need to create our uh, application instance and to run the application. I'll construct my app demo instance as demo. And that's it. So this is all the code we need to write. Now if I run the script, and here have a typo. And this should be widgets, now with set cell widgets. So here's my final results. In column A, B, C, D, so those are just uh, regular cells. In column E is our combo box. So if I just pick a random company, such as Apple, and follow my command line, and it's going to print the company's name, so if I choose a different company, and let's pick Google. And Google will be pressed in the uh, in the command line. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.